Hey everybody, welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV. I'm gonna be talking about my latest project today and you may or may not be familiar with the project that I'm working on, but that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. The project is my entry level web tech coding job spreadsheet. And the spreadsheet is something I've been working on for a couple of months now, maybe a few months, and it lists entry level web tech coding jobs. So I decided to start a fresh round of 100 Days of Code. If you follow me on social media, you may have noticed me talk about this. And if you're not familiar with the spreadsheet, I'm gonna share that. I'm also gonna share my progress on the project so far and just exciting stuff about the project that I wanna share, the website that I'm working on for it, etc. So here we go. Okay, this is the spreadsheet that I was referring to and the spreadsheet is entry level web tech coding roles and basically this spreadsheet started off as my own spreadsheet that I wanted to share to help others who were also looking for the same kinds of roles. And so pretty much what I do is any roles that I find on the entry level, beginner friendly level, no CS degree friendly. I pretty much list them here as I find them. And I've been maintaining a list of usually around 100 or more. So I've decided since many people like the spreadsheet, it has helped many people, I've decided to turn it into a website. So I officially have a name for the project and it's Get Into Tech or Git. That was not intentional. So Get Into Tech will be a resource to help you find entry-level web tech jobs. And this is my landing page. Right now, there's just a coming soon sign and a link to the spreadsheet, as well as a link to my Twitter and YouTube. So right now, as far as the progress of the project, I do have a mock-up design. And it's a simple design with a basic logo um, I chose some colors that go pretty well together, I think. So it'll be a simple listing with pretty much what I'm doing on the spreadsheet, except it'll be a website. So I have the home page mock-up design. So you see the title and the slogan, the nav, and then I decided that I wanted to do alternating colors for the table. Thought that would be cool. Also, I use Figma to mock up this design. Right now, what I'm showing you is, a, is basically just a display. If I scroll down, you'll see that I have the footer. It's just a basic footer that'll have the navigation again, copyright, and the logo. I also have a mock-up of a basic page the site is probably not going to have that many pages i know i'll have an about page that'll talk a little bit about the website the last thing is the mobile version of the layout and pretty much the same thing i'll have a nav and the listing but just in a responsive mobile version so that's the mock-up i do plan to add more to this mock-up I'm thinking of more things I can add, maybe a resources page, maybe some way people can interact on the website. But of course, the main thing that I'm focused on right now is getting an MVP out there, a minimal viable product where people can access the job listing. That's the first and foremost, most important thing. And as I think of things, I can always add them later. As far as technologies that I'll use for this, um, for MVP, it'll be HTML and CSS. However, for the table itself, I'm considering Bootstrap. Um, I believe that'll be a good option for the table as it's pre-styled, it's responsive, and it'll handle the table compatibility across different browsers and devices. So definitely looking at Bootstrap tables, uh, something in here, anything that catches my eye. Of course, these can be customized color wise, but I like the idea of using Bootstrap for that. And then as far as handling the data, for now, I'll be handling it manually. 
um, until I figure out a back end solution. And I'll optimize that manual process as best as possible. But of course, I'm going to definitely be finding the best solution for back end. Last but not least, I've been documenting the details of the project on my blog. You can check it out at devjachelle.tech slash articles. This is where I post things that I'm learning and working on. So you can always head over to my blog. Um, sometimes I'll put stuff here before I post them on YouTube. So you can check out stuff there. And if you're interested in learning more about me, my website is devjachelle.tech. This is where I have stuff about my career, my skills, um, past projects that I've worked on, um, like this one. <laughs> right now in my portfolio, I have past projects. These are projects that I worked on at boot camp. But the main project that I'm working on and focused on right now is get into tech or Git. So that's all I have for today. I wanted to share my progress so far on getintotech.io. Thank you everyone who is supporting the project so far. I have people that have wanted to help out on the project um, and provide ideas, things like that. And thank you so much for that. This project is going to just keep progressing and uh, I'm excited for what I have so far. If you have any ideas for a backend solution or anything like that, or just have any ideas in general, let me know. You can drop them in the comments and thank you so much again for watching and see you in the next video bye